You're watching EAC News. Thanks for joining us. Kazakhstan voted on constitution reform on Sunday the 5th of June, which was promoted by its president and it stepped forward to liberalising the Central Asian Republic, although it still leaves the key powers in its hands. More than 68% of voters cast their ballots by 10pm local time, the Central Election Commission said. Well above the required 50% threshold, the results are expected on Monday. The reform is likely to give the 69-year-old president, Kasim Jamat Tokoviev, the political capital he needs to run for a second term in oil-rich Kazakhstan, this time without the backing of his former patent and predecessor, Nursatan Nazobayev. In power since 2019, following the Nazarbayev abrupt resignation after three decades in charge, Tokayev has only fully emerged as an independent figure this year after putting down the temp coup in January and removing Nazarbayev and relatives from the key positions at the government. Aside from moves to decentralise decision making and allowing greater representation of various groups in parliament, the reform will also strip Nazarbayev, his natural leader, status from which granted him a lifetime privileges. The President, however, would retain powers to appoint judges and regional governors and dissolve parliament. Tokiovev has described the proposal changes as a move from the sub-presidential system to a presidential republic with a strong parliament. Although critics say that the reform is cosmetic, it does not signal a reversal from decades-long trend towards strengthening presidential powers. He voiced confidence on Sunday that his intensities would be passing, saying, there is a lot of work ahead. We will need to implement a constitution constitutional provisions for which we are voting. Some, however, complained that the proposal changes to more than 30 articles of the constitution were too complicated. Analysts said that the referendum was in part of the response of January's unrest, which started as a protest against the fuel price hike and evolved into a broad display of public discontent with a system of concentrated power wealth in the hands of a few. Tokyo Vev have also called for higher taxes in lucrative executive industries and high-income individuals saying social justice would become cornerstone of a new social contract. Addressing domestic policy concerns would free up career of diplomats' hands and deal with unexpected external turbulence. Caught between major economic and security partner Russia and the West, which has invested hundreds of billions of dollars in the joint oil fields and mines, Kazakhstan has tried to navigate a way through the Ukraine crisis without engaging in either side.